As the UK continues to grapple with a soaring cost of living crisis, an increasing number of people are turning to food banks as they struggle to feed their families and heat their homes. Lape Olarinoye spoke to charities who are struggling to meet the demand of the support required. Millions of Britons are forced to make difficult choices every day about what to spend their money on. Over the last year, more than two million struggling households have turned to food banks for help as grocery bills continue to soar. We help around 300 people each week, so, and that's in about 100 households, roughly. So we give people three days emergency food, and then we will do that up to five times. Now more than ever, charities like St Barnabas are finding it difficult to meet the increase in demand. Donations to food banks have dwindled whilst there has been a 25% rise in its usage. And for the first time in 40 years, everybody is feeling the pinch. The problem is that we were getting people um, from wider than the London Bar of Barnet. And because of the cost of the food that we have to buy, um, we've had to now really limit it to people from the London Bar of Barnet um, just to keep our numbers uh, down. It's the same story a few miles away at Barron's Court, originally set up to help the most needy, but has now had to open its doors to the masses. As energy prices continue to rise, an increasing amount of warm banks are being rolled out across the UK. These types of community hotspots can be used by anyone to keep warm instead of spending valuable amounts of money on heating their homes. And demand for this type of help is also on the rise. The volume of people needing our support has risen dramatically. So that could be from needing a hot meal because they have no energy to cook at home. It could be uh, wanting to access our shower service because they can't have hot water. Barron's Court is preparing for a long winter ahead. We're really concerned that as the cold weather comes, um, there will be a spike in um, levels of people needing support. We are going to open a second centre um, so that we can accommodate people who are living at home without any energy at all. More than 8 million low-income households will receive a monthly cost of living payment from the UK government, leaving millions of other households without additional support. For many of those still needing help, charities say they don't see the demand stabilising anytime soon. Lape Alarinoye, TRT World, London.